and so it just pops when you put it on there can you see that hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're stopping by for the first time you're very much welcome i love you so much please look down below there's a subscribe button there click on it and right beside it is a bell click on that bell as well do you know why that way you will never miss out on any uploads from here and will always keep in touch so putting together a makeup kit can sometimes overwhelm me especially if you're on a budget and you need to prioritize most times it becomes very challenging so this product i'm going to share with you here and the tools are uh, those that are very important and you need to have even if you're on a budget you need to prioritize them over other things let's get into it the first and most important are brushes yes brushes you need the brushes to apply your makeup and without the brushes you are not guaranteed of a flawless and good finish and applying makeup becomes difficult without brushes so brushes are the first and most important things you need to have in your makeup kit so first you are going to need a spoolie this is what you use to comb your brows you know to comb them together groom them and outline them in a way that is easier for you to apply your eyebrow pencil or your brow liner whatever you use for your brows a spoolie is very important you need it to comb your brows because that gives it the perfect outline for you to finally fill in the brows or to align them next you need an angled brush like this this brush helps you to clean your brows you know after filling them in or drawing them you are also going to need a blending brush like this this is the brush you are going to use to apply your eyeshadow so you apply the transition color and the crease color using this brush so it's very important for you to have it i have a video that i talked about eyeshadow application using one brush and i explained what a crease is and the transition color and all those terminologies so i'm going to link it up here for you to see you are also going to need this brush it's a flat brush like this with a dome shaped head you are going to need this brush to apply the eyelid color but if you are really on a budget and you can't afford to buy the other the blending brush and this brush you can use this one brush to do the magic and i have a full video in which i talked about how you can apply your eyeshadow using just this one brush so i'm linking it here for you to see in case you want to you know get more information and more details about how to use this brush go to that video and watch it for foundation you are going to need either of these two brushes this here is a brush used to apply lightweight foundations and uh, foundations that are liquid so you use this to apply your foundation and you just use it to blend everything together or this brush this here is a densely packed brush with a flat head that you use to apply foundations that are more thick in consistency foundations are full coverage so depending on which foundation you have or you are using you decide which of the brushes to go for either the flat densely packed one or this here that is used to apply liquid foundations and lightweight foundations you are also going to need a powder brush after applying your foundation this is the brush you are going to use to set your face so get it it's a large brush like this very important it's one of the basic essentials you need even in your starter makeup kit that's basically all that you need in terms of brushes so just a recap we have this pulley that you use to comb your brows and get them well outlined for you to apply your eyebrow pencil or fill your brows in then the angled brush you are going to use to apply your concealer under your brows and clean your brows next we talked about the eyeshadow brush this brush here you are going to use it to apply your transition color and your crease color next we talked about the flat eyelid brush and this brush here you use it to apply the eyelid color on the eyelid i also said you can use this to apply your entire eyeshadow which i have a video on and i've linked up here already then we talked about foundation brushes which are going to use to apply either liquid lightweight foundations or full coverage thick foundations so that's it with the brushes let's go into the products for the products first you are going to need your brow pencils so this is a davis pencil I use number 003 and this this pencil is everywhere in the market and what was very affordable so you just sharpen it and this is what you use to you know draw your brows and fill them in I also have here another brow pencil I've used this and I've used it out this is just a retractable pencil but I've used it and it is finished the next product you need to have in your starter kit very importantly are primers so either of these these are the two that i use i use them interchangeably but primers are very important because they form a barrier between your skin and the products you are putting on 
one they help to protect your skin two they, they help to keep the makeup in place and three they help the makeup to last on longer so you go for a primer that is suitable for your own skin there are primers for oily skins there are primers for dry or combination skin so the choice of primer also depends on the kind of results you want to achieve with your face but since you're just starting out putting your makeup kit together i would encourage that you go for a primer that is suitable for your skin that if you have oily or combination to dry skin just go for a, a primer that is suitable for your skin type that will save you all the stress the next thing you are going to get after your primer is foundation which is very obvious the foundation is what evens out the skin tone and creates a clean base for you to apply the rest of your makeup and they come in different types we have the liquid foundation which i have one here the maybelline fix me foundation i use the shade 330 i love this foundation because it's a liquid foundation it's lightweight but it covers my face very perfectly this is especially good for people who have flawless or you know minimal blemishes on their their skin on their face or a stick foundation some foundations come like this in stick form this is the black opal stick foundation when i'm highlighting and contouring this is what i use or some foundations come in liquid form like this so there's a pump here that you just you use to pump the foundation out and apply either the liquid or the stick foundations depending on your budget or on your preference there's no big deal about it they all perform the same task the only thing is i prefer liquid foundations because they are easier to blend and for me because i do not have blemishes on my face this this gets the job done for me but if you're someone who has acne scars or uneven pigmentation on your skin i would i would encourage that you go for a foundation that is more full coverage you also need concealers concealers are what you use to perform a lot of tasks on your face i have a full video on how to use concealers and what to use concealers for i took time to share 10 ways you can use your concealer in that video so i'm linking it here for you but know that you need concealers very important another staple you need in your starter makeup kit is powder and i use the maybelline all-in-one powder this powder this is how it comes and i'm in the shade 06 toffee that's my shade I use this powder a lot I love it and I think it's the only powder I have but it gets the job done for me this is what I have on my face it keeps my, my makeup set all day the next step we are going to need is eyeliner so I have three different types of eyeliners here I have the pencil liners this is my Maybelline Colossal Kajal pencil I've used this on this channel a lot you guys know me with this pencil it's it's a pencil to die for it's very very lovely and when you use this pencil it stays put all day it doesn't smudge and it's affordable this is not sponsored guys but this is me telling you what I've used and I can attest to this pencil is very very lovely and I recommend it for you oh and I forgot to mention you also have gel eyeliners so they come in your packaging like this and then you open it this you are going to use a brush to apply but i would not recommend a gel eyeliner for you just starting out i would recommend you get a pencil eyeliner because that would be much easier for you to apply on your face mascaras are also very essential you know staples in your starter makeup kit this is what you apply on your lashes or your upper and lower lashes this keeps it together even without an eyeliner when you have a mascara you are good to go so go for a mascara any one of your choice blush is another staple you need in your starter makeup kit so when going to get a blush go for a blush that is suitable for your skin tone you do not want to get a blush that makes you look funny at the end of the day but it is a staple and you can use the large powder brush to apply the blush as well highlighters are staples you also need so i have here the classic palette and here is becca this becca is the shade champagne pop and this is what i have on here right now going on it has some gold speckles in there so it just pops when you put it on there can you see that this is how the palette this is how the highlighter looks sorry that it's broken but this is what i use when i have when i want to achieve a more brown bronzy finish i have a video that i use this highlighter to achieve a look on so i'm going to link it here for you too, so that you will see the results you are going to get with this eyeshadows are very 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 important guys for your starter makeup kit so just what i would say is go for an eyeshadow palette that will be able to give you all you want and what i mean is an eyeshadow palette that you are going to use to 
create a complete eyeshadow look. The eyeshadow palette that has transition colors, crease colors, and eyelid colors, which will save you a lot of stress and money. I have here the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. This is what I've been using for the longest time now, and it comes with colors like this. So I use this eyeshadow palette to do a lot of things. It has a lot of transition colors like this here, this here, this. I use them a lot. As you can see, I've, all, I've already hit my pan with them. But this palette here is a palette to die for. I love it so much because it comes, it's like a total package. I've just pointed out the transition colors that you can use and then the, the crease colors. Colors you can use to intensify your crease. Colors like this, like this, like this, which you can use to intensify your crease, you know. And then there are a lot of shimmery shades. This, 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 this. You can use all of this for your your eyelid so this is the kind of palette i'm talking about a palette that is complete lipsticks 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 you also need lipsticks this is very obvious and very important i do not need to emphasize it again and they come in different types liquid matte glossy whatever your preference you get your lipsticks i have here some samples what i have going on on my lips here is the color pop lippy lipstick in the shade bossy i also have another one here this is the sephora cream lip stain. There are varieties of lipsticks guys so go for anyone that you like and can afford. So that's it guys. I've just shared with you the essentials you need in your starter makeup kit. Share this video with your friends, with your sister. You know someone who needs this video. There's a sister who needs this video to put together her starter makeup kit. So share with her. Leave a comment for me below. Let me know if there's any other product or two I forgot to mention so that we'll take note. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.